Operators of gas-fired power plants need the ability to see and diagnose issues in real time to optimize plant thermal and financial efficiency. Being able to get the most power out of a unit of fuel and being able to spend an optimum amount on O&M and capital expenses are critical to these plants' financial fortunes. With PyVision, the main screen for a combined cycle plant can be designed in any way you please, with the ability to drill down on gas or steam turbines or any other equipment groups you'd like. This example of a main screen shows some of the parameters you can display along with multiple ways of displaying the data. On the top of the screen, we see some overview data at the current time of the display. The data displayed is production data, some financial data, as well as the current fuel flow. In the upper right hand portion of the screen, you can display other information, such as environmental information. As you move down to the middle of this screen, you can see a graph of the unit load versus the unit's scheduled load. This can include your energy management department's estimate of load into the future using the future data feature of the PI system. This can give operators and engineers some insight into what load the unit may be operating at during the next shift. As you move down the display, you see additional data. The load on the GTs and the steam turbine as well as system frequency, and these are shown in radial gauges of different types. You can also display any sort of data you see fit. In this case, the plant may decide based on operations priorities that HERSIG drum level excursion counts are important to display. From this screen, the engineer can drill down to look at the gas turbine. Here again, you see a number of parameters displayed in various ways. You can see that pictures, such as JPEGs and GIFs, can be brought into your vision display. To get a quick look at a few parameters, an engineer can pick a few points and add them to an ad hoc display. There's no need to create and save a new display simply to get a quick look at a few parameters. Let's say we want to look at in guide vane angle and fuel flow. Click on the ad hoc button and you get an ad hoc trend over whatever time period you'd like. When you're done looking at that, you just close it out. You can also see on the screen that we can display event frames. In this case, differential pressure events. But these can be anything that the plant might be concerned with. Again, you can see that a single vision display can utilize multiple methods to display data and process events. The HERSIG screen we have set up for this plant shows a graphic focused on drum level and some of the parameters that may help an engineer better diagnose issues with their drum level control. You can see on this display, again, multiple ways of displaying data. And I want to focus on two for this display. The middle of the screen shows a table of values with some statistical parameters such as minimum, maximum, and average, as well as a quick view of the trend over the timetable of the graphic. Another feature of tables is the ability to double click on a parameter, let's say drum pressure, and get a pop-up trend of that value. Here is another look at event frames. In this case, high drum level events. Clicking on an event, and now note this is simulated data, so it might not reflect what might happen in your plant. In this case, you can see the event with the drum level higher than the maximum. An engineer coming in to look at root cause can add a couple of other parameters, let's say drum pressure and feed water flow, to help them do some diagnosis. 
the engineer can acknowledge the event, showing that it has been looked at. You can also add a comment You can also add a comment to help classify the cause of this event. You can see when you go back to the display, it shows that the event was acknowledged and who acknowledged it. So the next analyst who comes can see that, that this issue has been looked at. If you click on an event again, this information will be displayed. It will show who acknowledged it and when. It will show the comment. And it will show that a notification was sent to a subscriber. Now again, we are not set up here on this simulated server to attach to an email server. But if we were, it would show you who the email was sent to and when it was sent. And this can be sent to... Um, an operator, a mechanic, a central subject matter expert, or it could even be sent to a work management system. Finally, individual pieces of equipment can have their own custom displays. In this case, we have a feed pump display. Again, various parameters are displayed along with a schematic. You can see event frames at the bottom of the page. In this case, events were set up to not allow acknowledgement based on the wishes of the person who set up the event frames. The feature I'd like to show here is the ability to navigate from similar pieces of equipment either by navigation links or the pull-down menu. Here we start in Philadelphia Power Plant Boiler Feed Pump 1. With a button we can switch to the Cleveland Power Plant Boiler Feed Pump 2. We can also do it with a pull-down menu to the San, San Leandro power plant, boiler feed pump 2. This ability to change context, to change the piece of equipment you are looking at, is a critical feature of Pi AF and Pi Vision. A single display can be set up so that no matter where the engineer or subject matter expert is located, they can look at the same view of the equipment, in this example a feed pump, that uses the same analytics, a calculation of pump efficiency, for example, and know that they are comparing apples to apples. This video is a quick tour of how Pi can be set up for a gas plant and how it also can be set up for a fleet. That is an important takeaway for Pi Vision. It can provide quick access to Pi systems for an entire fleet. The access can be for local operators, for remote subject matter experts, for a power marketing group, or for executives. With the Pi system, the possibilities for accessing, viewing, and analyzing your data are nearly endless. In this example, we were looking at gas-fired generating facility. But you could focus on any type of generation. You can focus on operating parameters or maintenance workflows. You can set up Pi calculations for quick, real-time calculation of KPIs, calculation of potential excess power that can be sold by a marketing group. And the possibilities are endless. Using data will empower you to make better, faster, and smarter decisions every day by getting the right data to the right people in the right context. Thank you.